Hey guys, it's Trice here, and we're getting the most torque out of this V12 engine in automation. I'm nearly halfway done with the V engine category in this game, as there are only a few more engines left to go. So let's make this happen with this here engine build. So the first thing you gotta do on the top of portion of your screen is you set the year all the way up to the year of 2020 to maximize the potential, power, and everything related about this engine. And after choosing the V60 degree V12 engine configuration, you may choose any block material that you may choose from. We choose magnesium for the sake of weight, but not the world's best in heat conductivity. And for the born stroke right here for the family capacity, you square this off each to 120 millimeters to get the engine size, if I get this here, of 16,286 cubic centimeters around 16.3 liters, round it up. And we're going to be using dual overhead cam 5 valves, and again, you may choose whatever material that you may choose from, choose aluminum silicone for weight. And with this quality slider, as you see right here for the open beta branch of the game, which you have to enroll in your Steam settings, is you max this out to a plus 15 for everything. No matter if it's for the engine block in general, the bottom end, top end, turbo, fuel, exhaust, everything. For the balance shaft, you're required to have a harmonic damper built in to reduce the chance of the crankshaft from exploding on you due to high RPM and torque stress issues. And the crank counterized the pistons, of course, the strongest ones out of all of them. So the crankshaft will be made out of billet steel with the counterized here set to a lightweight titanium and the pistons right here set to a regular forged. For the compression, like always, set this to an extreme level of a 15.0 to 1 ratio, you max this out. And the cam profile, you set this to the magic number for this part of the series to a 52. It's kind of weird that 52 is pretty much the ideal number for it getting the most torque out of the engines. With the springs and lifters here, you set this to a soft setting at a 15, and of course, VVT at all cams. For the turbocharger, we're going to be using a quad turbo setup for turbos with a smart boost system with the intercooler set all the way down to zero horsepower, which means no intercooler whatsoever, which is kind of weird to get the most power, torque, or anything with this part of the game. They might patch it sooner or later, but who cares? And for the aspiration setup details, we're going to be using a variable geometry ball bearing setup with the compressor size set, the top one, at 120 millimeters. The turbine, the second setting, set all the way up to 118 millimeters, the air and compressor trim, the third setting set to a 41, and finally for the maximum boost, the final and fourth setting set to a 33.4 PSI. For the fuel system, it's pretty much the usual, so we're going to be using a direct injection throttle persona set up with a standard mid intake running on the dev meth fuel, basically meth injection, with the fuel mixture set all the way up to a 10.0 to rich setting. On the other hand, the ignition timing also backs out to an advanced setting of 100, and of the RPM limit will be set to a 6000 RPM. And finally, for the exhaust, it's pretty much like the V8, which took me only 5 minutes to make this V12 engine. So the headers, watch everything just appear to thin air by choosing the turbo racing headers with a dual exhaust, with the exhaust damper set to 203 millimeters, which equals to 8 inches. And we're going to be using a high flow through rate catalytic converter and two straight through buffers, first and second ones, and then bring up that quality. And we get the final horsepower rating of 5,951.5 horsepower at 5,900 RPM. And the highlight of the video is the torque at 5,612.8 pounds feet of torque at 5,000 RPM. As you can see right away with the pistons and con rods here with the stress graph, it is set at 100% for both of these components, but not so much for the crankshaft. But as we take a look at the reliability factor of portion of your screen, which I'll zoom in, is that we're at a 0.3. And in terms of automation, the engine runs this as fine. As long as it's not a 0, 0.0. If it's at a 0, 0.0, then the engine won't run whatsoever. So this part of the video, I'll cycle through all the graphs in here while playing around with the engine right here. If I started with the power and torque graph, to the torque and boost, to the torque efficiency, and power and efficiency. After showing you all those main important graphs, I'll show you the engine as is by doing some fake gear shifts for a while, and then one off the video right there. So bring back the graphs and give you here this engine right now. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
This engine sound doesn't sound that high quality. Even for the low ends or for the high ends, it kind of sounds a little bit rough or something. So that'll do it with automation, the Car Company Tycoon game with this torque-heavy V12 engine. I'm not even joking, it took me like 5 minutes to get this type of build going. I used the V8 blueprint from my last video and got this power and torque rating. Sometimes it is a good idea to use a previous blueprint to make something like this. <laughs> and for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including my automation to Beam and G Drive videos too. So this is Tries rising up and signing out.